Hello guys, I hope you're well. So uh, for those that are new to my channel, my name is Pete and in October of 2021, I received a, a HIV diagnosis. So this video um, is called what I want you to know about HIV. Um, there are a lot of myths around HIV and hopefully in this video we can uh, dispel some of those. So uh, first question is, what is HIV? Um, HIV or human immunodeficiency virus is a virus that attacks your body's immune system. So for those that don't know what HIV does um, to a person's body, um, that's what it does. It attacks your body's immune system. So uh, what is AIDS? AIDS and HIV, many people, including myself, before my diagnosis, I thought the two were the same, but that's not true. Um, HIV is the virus and AIDS is a condition of HIV. So we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, what are the symptoms of HIV? Um, now this can vary from person to person. Myself, I had many symptoms over a number of years, over a, th a sort of a three, two to three year period, um, ranging from swollen lymph nodes to severe acid reflux to rashes, a number of opportunistic infections. Uh, but then I've met people and spoken to people who have HIV who had absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. Um, next one is, uh, when does a person develop AIDS? Now, as I said a moment ago, HIV and AIDS are two different things. Um, AIDS is a condition of HIV. So uh, HIV attacks your immune system and a healthy person's immune system or CD4 count would sit between 500 and 1500. Now, to get an AIDS diagnosis, your immune system would have to dip below that 500 marker and actually dip below 200. So once your immune system dips below that 200 marker, that is when you are then given an AIDS diagnosis and your immune system is severely compromised, leaving you susceptible to um, opportunistic infections. So how quickly do people um, develop AIDS? Again, this is different from person to person. I've read about many people who have had HIV for years before um, they develop AIDS. Um, so um, I've read about one person who had HIV for 10 years, some even longer, um, before they actually developed um, an AIDS diagnosis. So where is HIV found in the body? Now again, there's a lot of myths about this. Many out there think you can get HIV through touch, through kissing, um, even oral, oral sex is very, very difficult to get HIV that way, but it's certainly impossible to get it through touch, toilet seats, kissing, you know, kissing, et cetera, et cetera. So um, HIV is found in the blood, in the semen, in the vaginal fluids, and in breast milk. Um, how can HIV be transmitted? Um, HIV can be transmitted uh, through anal or vaginal sex, through blood transfusions, sharing of needles, mother to infant during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Again, HIV cannot be transmitted through kissing, um, touch, um, etc. Um, life expectancy of a person who is living with HIV. So like myself, my life expectancy, sorry, is the same as someone who is negative. Uh, in fact, on average now within the UK, uh, people who are living with HIV like myself are actually living 18 months longer than someone who is negative. Now, a couple of reasons for that. One first is the medication. It's absolutely amazing. Now I take one pill a day, that's it. Um, and also I found who from people who I've spoken to who have HIV, um, they tend to look after themselves better after their diagnosis. So like myself, uh, I don't drink anymore, I don't smoke and I don't take drugs. Um, I go to the gym five or six days a week and I eat pretty healthily. So all of these things together, the medication and, and lifestyle is a reason of why people who are living with HIV are now on, in, on average actually living longer. So uh, another question I've been asked is, what does U equals U mean? I've done a video about this recently. 
So please go back and watch that. But briefly, it, it stands for undetectable equals untransmittable. And that means someone who is on ART or antiretroviral therapy like myself can no longer pass on HIV sexually or any other way. So they call that undetectable equals untransmittable. And there are a number of people, many people out there who just can't accept this, but I'm afraid it's science and it's correct. And there is no um, uh, proof or evidence of anyone ever who is undetectable like myself passing on HIV. It can't happen. There's been so much research into this, so many, so many tests that have been done. It just can't happen. So it reduces the level of HIV for instance, in my blood, down to a undetectable level, which makes it impossible to pass on um, HIV. Now, the medication I'm on is a drug called Victavi. Uh, another myth is um, many think that people like myself run a concoction of tablets every day. This simply is not true. I take one pill every day at 8.30 every single night, uh, and that's it. Um, adherence to the drugs as well is very important. You have to pick a time of the day you want to take it and stick to that. So I set my alarm for 8.30 every night and that is when I take my medication and that is what keeps me uh, undetectable. So uh, I hope that's answered some questions for you and dispelled some myths. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. I do answer everyone who leaves a comment on my channel uh, there may be some things I can't answer because I just don't have the knowledge, but um, I will certainly do my best to answer any questions for you. So again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're not subscribed, uh, like, share, comment and hit that notification bell and it will alert you to any future videos that I upload. So I hope you all have a fantastic day and I shall catch you in the next video. Take care everyone.